The strategy aims to guide the entire government communication functions and provide an essential framework to advance socio-economic transformation through effective communication while embracing digital leadership. It cascades to constituencies, different constituency councillors have to speak. If we need water, if we have a problem of electricity and so forth, let the councillors speak. But also, we have also different layers within those structures. What is the issue being talked about? Is it an issue of policy nature, political nature in the region, which the governor will be a competent person to talk about? Is it an issue of strategic nature, which then goes to the executive director in case of a ministry, or the CRO in the case of a region. Dr. Mushelenga further urged government institutions to communicate to the targeted audience in a language and format that they clearly understand to avoid contradictory messages on government policies, programs and services. The executive director in the ministry, Dr. Audrin Mate, says government institutions should ensure that communication officers are well trained to provide the requested information consistently and timely. We will retrain them to know to write for what media. Writing for television is a lot different from writing for, for radio. It's also a lot different from writing for, from print media. So we're going to retrain your people to ensure that they, in the absence of media, your traditional media, they will then close this gap by providing text, a package material already uh, to other media that uh, we want to uh, reach. The participants had an opportunity to share their experiences and challenges in communication between the public, government institutions, as well as the media. Questions around a lack of network connectivity in some areas, media coverage, internal communications and dissemination of information to the public via digital platforms were also addressed by the minister and executive director. They highlighted the planned extension of network towers by telecommunication service providers, construction of MICT offices and training of personnel in government institutions on consistent speech writing, communication equipment operation and using effective communication tools and channels to meet government communication objectives. The discussion concluded by placing an emphasis on the need to allocate more resources for the communication function in all government offices, including regional councils, to cover all constituencies to maintain a positive brand of government institutions through effective communication.